In this video, we're going to show you how to take off the rocker cover and check the lead plugs uh, on the injector rockers on these 2 litre TDIs, BPWs. They're renowned for the lead plugs coming out. You can sometimes tell by the noise of the engine. I'm not sure if you will in this, vi in this video, but let's give it a go. You can hear a second order ticking there in line with the uh, engine RPM. So to start off, what we need to do is we have to remove these three caps here and then get the uh, engine cover off. Then you remove the timing cover, which actually has a clip down there and one on the other side, and then remove the breather hose and also all of these bolts for the actual rocker cover. So we removed all the bolts and notice the cam is in this position so you can actually take the cover out and take it this way. We'll now wiggle the cover. This will get oily, so be careful. One thing I've always had an issue with is this pipe over here. So I normally just wedge a little screwdriver here to stop this pipe coming in the way, because it always does. Now, get the rocker cover, lift it up and wiggle it out. And you have to lift it up and then wiggle it towards the right of the vehicle, making sure all the bolts are loose. This car is a bit warm, so there's a bit of smoke coming out still. Okay, and you can see it's stuck over here. So we'll just push that back and get it off the pickup here. Take that and put it to one side. So, what you'll see, these are your injector rockers, and you'll see this lead plug's actually come out halfway. The one in the middle here has come out as well, all the way. And it looks like the one on the end is still in position, but we'll once we get the rockers off, we'll have a look. So mark your rockers and then remove these bolts. So we've removed the bolts that hold the injector rockers in. Obviously, we've kept them in order. And now these rockers are free to come out. They're a bit warm, but I'll take them and we'll put them on the table and then we'll inspect them in a minute. Well, the other one's on its way. Maybe a bit of light here. So this is the first rocker. You can see this lead plug has migrated axially. And also on this side, this lead plug's actually coming out. On the second rocker, there's a lead plug there, which is intact. However, on the other side, well, this is a bit hot. It's absolutely missing. Now this may be because it's inside, fallen inside the engine somewhere, or uh, someone's had the rocker cover off and it's missing. So, so we found the lead plug. It's actually just sitting in here. There it is. There we go. We're gonna get that out and put it on the table. So we've taken the rockers off, injector rockers. Obviously these lead plugs have fallen out. So what they've done, not sure if that's very clever, is they've taken a, a piece of steel and they've plugged it with an aluminum lead plug. Now, for those of you with a technical understanding, this has a different efficient of thermal expansion. So this will expand probably faster than this. And with the oil pressure working on the inside, it drifts out. So how are we gonna fix it? Good old trusty hammer and center punch. We'll start off by this one here. Get the center punch in. Through wax, it's in, around. Hopefully, that should hold them in position. One more, this idea. And even though this one's not come out, let's just put it in, give it a, let's re-secure it. And you can see that actually moved back in again. And now you've oil sprayed over the work counter, you have to wipe that off. What we're doing now is we're inspecting the cam lobes for wear. You can't really see it very well on the video, but there should be a chamfer on all the, the lobes, especially on the genuine cams. Here you can see it here. Right, that one's actually fine. You'll see a slight bit of wear there, but it's not bad. So you've got to turn the engine over slightly 
and inspect the cams. I'll turn the engine while my colleague here holds the camera. Don't start the engine, you'll have oil spraying everywhere otherwise. So, just very slowly, like that, and inspect all the cams. So keep doing that, and turn the engine over, and inspect all your cam lobes, for instance over here, and over here. As long as you've got a chamfer, that means it's okay, and it's not worn. So now you're putting your injector rockers back. Obviously, the one that came off there goes back there and the one that came off there goes back there. Now you'll find these rockers rock and they won't sit down here because you haven't compressed the spring here. So what you've got to do is you've got to fit them and then slowly work these bolts in and push it down evenly. Yeah, if you don't do that, you could probably damage it. So just evenly push them all the way down and then you torque them up. Now the torque setting is 20 Newton meters plus 90 degrees. But please, don't quote me on that because if you break a bolt, you'll hold me liable. Um, you have to be careful because according to the manual, you actually have to um, replace these bolts. And now we're gonna torque them up. So it's the center bolts first at 20 Newton meters and the outers, and then you turn them all 90 degrees. So bear in mind, you've got the spring pressure on. So as you do them, you might wanna just go over them a few times. So inners. and outers. Again, as you've got the spring pressure on, make sure to do them all once and then just go over them again, just in case. Okay, take the torque wrench off. And let's go for the 90 degrees. Okay. So now, now we've done that, is the more fun part of cleaning up. So what you've got to do, I'll take this rag off my associate, is you've got to clean the rocker cover, sealing surface, and you'll notice there's a little bit of sealant placed in these four corners, one, two, three, four. So put a bit of, clean that up nicely, and then put four drops of sealant, and then you can start putting your rocker cover back on again. So we've uh, cleaned all this up, and we've put a little bit of sealant in the corners where it goes 90. And we've also cleaned up the rocker cover on the ceiling surfaces and the, the fun now of putting it back. We've brought the cam to this position because I think that's the easiest way to get it in. Maybe if I turn the rocker cover around, it'll be more easier. There you go. And once it's done, get into position. So the next step now is to tighten the rocker cover on. Now note, there's a tightening sequence here and this goes to nine Newton meters. Now my torque wrench minimum is actually 10. So we'll go to 10. Actually, no, it might be nine. Let's see, it actually does eight, this one does. Yeah, it does eight. So we'll take that down to nine Newton meters and starting off with number one, which is over here. And number two on the back. Uh, number three, which is over here. So yeah, refer to the photograph on there and tighten your rock cover back up again. So we've uh, Put the rock cover on, obviously, you saw that. We've uh, put the, the breather hose on and uh, put the engine cover back on and the timing cover. So we're gonna start the car and it may make a bit of noise, but after the oil pressure builds up, the ticking noise will go away. It's ticking. It's 
So, we'll now hear the engine sounds a lot more different. different. A little tapping noise. Well, the hydraulic lifter is actually gone. Hopefully you found our video useful. Please subscribe to us on our YouTube channel.